Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the secret or reveal the tips on how I fix my uh, Samsung Note 4 boot loop or restart issue. Okay? As you can see, I have my uh, three battery. There's one battery over here. First, second, and third one that's in the phone. Okay? This one, the one on the left, is my original Samsung battery that I uh, purchased with my uh, Note 4 that originally come with it. As you can see, uh, when I turn around like this, you uh, spin around. The reason behind it is because uh, the battery has been bulged. I don't think you can see it, but I can feel the like a, a lump right in the center of it. And then uh, that is a cause from uh, overheating. And uh, hopefully this battery is not going to explode on me, you know. Because uh, the first time I found out the battery dies out on me or the phone recycle by itself, it dies around like 50 or 40 percent. And it is uh, because of, uh, I did the fast charging on my phone. And I didn't know because uh, Note 4, when it first came out, is uh, the hype about the fast charging that you could charge it, your phone and everything, you know, charge up faster. So you could reuse it again. But unfortunately, uh, that creates uh, lots of heat. And while you're charging and then using your cell phone or uh, any cell phone at the same time, it creates uh, more heat, and if your screen is turned to the brightness, I mean brightness, the very high, it will overheat uh, your CPU or GPU, okay? So you want to go to setting. Let me check. You want to go to uh, battery, where is the battery at? Let's see display. You want to go to a battery and make sure you uncheck that uh, fast charging, okay? Make sure you uncheck it. If you uh, check that and uh, battery is going to be fast charging and once you did that, the battery is going to get overheated, okay? That's what happened to my uh, first battery, okay? And that's why it spin like that so uh, quickly because uh, it has been bulged. Another thing I want to go over with is the... Uh, but lucky I got the replacement less than a year. So uh, I, I went through my AT&T uh, equipment exchange and call the 1-800 number and uh, they send me a brand new battery. So right now this one, the battery is not bulging out anything. But uh, unfortunately I uh, connect this uh, uh, battery to my LG phone which is uh, has a fast charging uh, capability as well. But somehow that kills uh, my battery, and now it is uh, it dies out around like sometimes even sixty percent or fifty percent, and then uh, it reboot. As you can see, when I spin it, it does not do that much spinning. Or when I flip it the other way, so maybe a little bulge over here, only a little bit. So I went out, uh, ahead and then I ordered uh, another battery on uh, eBay. 
But unfortunately, uh, eBay uh, seller uh, sold me a replica of fake copies of the Samsung battery. And then, uh, but since I, after I replaced the battery, the new battery, the third one, it is not re, uh, starting rebooting or anything like that anymore. But unfortunately, uh, when I use this phone to record, uh, record a video, I think the NFC on this uh, thick battery is causing uh, noise. And this is the battery that uh, the seller uh, sent it to me. As you can see, it is a different font. Right here on the right hand side, it seems like it's, it is, uh, the font is a little bit thinner versus the one on the left hand side, it is the uh, original one, which is much uh, thicker. Okay? And then I don't think you can see in the video because uh, this is more like a flat silver wrapper on the edges. And compared to the one on the right hand side, it is like like a shiny, more shinier than the one on the left. And as you can see, they have like three rows, and this one only has two rows. The left one says made in Korea, and then the right one says assembly in. Vietnam. Well, as you can see, uh, the latest uh, Note 7 was uh, the battery was made in uh, assembly in Vietnam. And it was uh, originally it was a uh, lithium uh, polymer for the Note 5. But I guess, uh, unfortunately, Samsung tried to cut down their costs by going to lithium ion. And that caused a lot of explosion. And then uh, due to a uh, faulty design of their battery or how they packed it. So I'm pretty sure uh, either the Samsung has a defective battery as well too. Because I got two of them right now, it's like defective. And when I was using the number two battery, I constantly afraid that the phone is going to shut off on me. You know, I cannot depend on it because uh, it, it once it shut down, and then my phone keep on rebooting, restarting, and then when I plug in the charger, it shows about one percent battery left from fifty or sixty percent down to one percent. And that was what uh, happened to my uh, first battery. So another way by uh, telling this is a fake one, as you can see on the very button, when I go like that to the wrap, uh, wrapper, it is not straight. And then, uh, can you see that? Yeah, there, there's a line right here, indentation. It is not straight and smooth compared to the original original one right here. When I do the same thing, try to make that indentation on the bottom here. You see how it is straight, and then there's a curve on uh, each side of it. You could do that by flipping and do that to the the top with the plus and minus right here. As you can see the line. It's a pretty fine uh, line right here. So you know it's uh, real and fake. And the wrapper over here 
it does not flip out or anything versus uh, this one right here the one on the phone when I first uh, unbox it or and then I can feel the flap the sticker is flapping up or whatever so I know this is fake one because uh, when I used it the battery uh, deplete uh, faster compared to my original one all right besides that uh, And then uh, you guys want to make sure you guys uh, go out uh, to your tax bar or tax uh, icon button right there and then uh, exit out all the application that you don't need and then uh, clear the RAM. So you, so you want to end all those uh, apps that you don't use and then end it all so you don't have uh, any application running in the background. Another note is that, well, the reason I put on uh, auto because I want to show you guys uh, the, vi uh, the video on the phone so you guys can see better. But normally I put the auto to a very uh, low uh, brightness as low as possible. Because if you put on auto and then you go outdoor and use it, and once your uh, screen light up so bright, for example, like this, it will also heat up your uh, battery and create lots of heat. I remember when I was uh, filming uh, with my uh, second battery, and uh, I when I was filming for like about eight minutes, and all of a sudden my phone shuts off and got so hot on the the screen. So that's my uh, tips to uh, let you guys know about the phone, how I fixed it and solved the problem. So there's uh, no more rebooting uh, problem. Uh, let me see what else. And then uh, if you have a, uh, the NFC or anything that is a smart state that turns on. Another thing you guys want to turn off is the, the sync. If you guys don't want to uh, constantly sync it to your email or to your uh, Dropbox or to your Google uh, photo, you could go to the Google photo and then uh, take out that option. So you won't uh, overheat your phone as well. I only uh, allow Google photo to back up my uh, pictures when I uh, plug in to charge and uh, I turn my uh, display brightness on the very low so it doesn't uh, upload the picture and create uh, heat at the same time. All right? So hopefully this will uh, save you guys the uh, troubleshooting and just go out there and purchase a new battery. Make sure it is the uh, original battery if not, then you guys want to dispute it with the seller on eBay. And I got this battery for free. Anyway, hopefully uh, you guys give a thumbs up and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so yet. And I'm just uh, sharing this uh, experience, uh, what I went through with the three different batteries. So I make sure I charge with the... Uh, Samsung original bar, uh, cable and adapter because it is a special design for the Samsung phone. All right. So thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Any question, please uh, drop a comment on below. All right. Thank you for watching. Peace out.